webs of the astronauts and I won't listen to their words cause I like birds hey guys how you doing it's Josh uh, this is another nerdcast hope you enjoyed the first one the second one in the series don't know how many I'm gonna do just until I get tired of doing them if I will do that I am dressed up today. Ha ha ha. It's my dad's birthday today. Sorry, it's my dad's birthday tomorrow. But we went out for breakfast with my sister and brother-in-law and dad and mum, which was nice. I had a a blat. A blat. I've never heard of one before. Um, it's BLT, but with avocado, so they just threw an A in there. Didn't know that existed. Like, I, I assumed you could get avocado on a BLT, but... I didn't know they changed the name to Blatt or B-L-A-T. I like to call it Blatt because it sounds funnier. Today I'm just going to quickly review this. This is an excellent comic book. Iron Man, obviously, says it there. i got some issues with it. Some things are pretty funny. But yeah, the, the main issue that I've got really is that it has no proper name. It's just Iron Man by Joe Quesada. All right. Like other ones, like this one. Uh, this is Iron Man Extremis, uh, which if you haven't seen Iron Man 3, it's not a massive spoiler, but it's essentially about Extremis. I bought this before the movie came out, before I even knew that it was about Extremis. And I'd read it, and I was so excited that it was about Extremis. I was, yeah. But it was a really good uh, comic book. Basically, without giving too much away, because there's a fair bit in this, it's kind of two stories blended into one. Iron Man's suit uh, gains consciousness and falls in love with Tony Stark? I've, I really can't explain that. Um, <laughs> it's, it's confusing. It's good. It's a really... It's, um, it's a bizarre kind of concept. Bit weird. Um, and then later in the comic, more towards the end, um, a lot of the stuff that happened in the very first comic book in Iron Man number one back in the 60s, a bit of that comes back, which is really interesting. I definitely recommend reading this. If not, message me somehow on down there, and I'll tell you all about it. It's the most bizarre thing. Um, I recommend reading it. Definitely. That would be sweet. There's some funny little things like... This is going to be one of my favorites. So it says... You think you know what's going to happen next? Well, if you do, give us a call, blah, 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 blah. And then calls us... Swangsters? Have you ever heard of that before? I've never heard of a swangster. Sounds a bit weird, really. Whatever. This is one of the other things. There's things in comic books called footnotes. Um, which are just little notes, so if in the dialogue they refer to something that happened in a previous comic, they have a little footnote, like a little bubble or something, that says where that reference was coming from, like what issue or what other series, if it was from Thor or uh, Captain America or something, what issue it came from and where it came from and stuff. It sounds like, I assume, Joe Quesada, who is the, the namesake for this, doesn't like footnotes. Don't know why, gonna have to ask him, track him down. But they've got a few jokes throughout the footnotes, like saying that. So obviously he doesn't like them, but they keep putting them in and they're just kind of jerking around, hoping that he doesn't see it. And then they kind of tell you to be quiet and not tell him in this one. Yeah, there's a few uh, funny little things. It's, it's quite a funny comic book. And yeah, there's a bit of romance, there's uh, a love interest for Tony Stark, um, but he can't tell her that he loves her, and so she cries all the time. But it's very good. You should definitely read it. It's a good read. I'm currently reading two other books. Um, I get new comic books all the time. I usually get smaller issues of comic books every week, like the the thinner ones, the tiny ones, 
Um, so that's a free Walking Dead one from Free Comic Book Day, which was awesome. I could get about five or six new comic books plus every single week delivered to my door because I can't be bothered to go into the city because it costs costs more to go into the city and get them than it does just to get them delivered to my house. So at the moment I'm reading two comic books, uh, sorry, two other books, one's not a comic book. Reading this one, this obviously is a comic book because it says Marvel, I can't get that in line. Boom, Marvel the end. So I'm currently partway through this, this has been intense, the artwork is amazing. Look at that, look at that page. That is just a beautiful page. Yeah, it's very like intergalactic, like gods and stuff, it's, uh, it's a bit intense. It's good though, it's very interesting, and it's got like every, well most Marvel heroes that you can think of. Even Ant-Man and Wasp are in this, which is crazy, because, yeah. Fun fact, um, Ant-Man and Wasp started the Avengers. Yeah, I found that interesting, it wasn't Nick Fury. Uh, Nick Fury had his own comic book series as well, which most people probably didn't know about, but Nick Fury didn't start the Avengers, he didn't put all that together. And David Hasselhoff played Nick Fury in the Nick Fury TV show. So weird. Uh, I find it funny. I'll be reviewing that later. At some point. Because it's awesome and just beautiful. The artwork is gorgeous. And it's got... Thanos. He's going to be crazy in the next Avengers. Absolutely insane. Another little fun fact. Thanos has his own uh, comic book series. And I've been reading that. And I'll probably go into it more later. But I feel so sorry for him. Oh my gosh, he's had like the worst life. His mum tried to kill him when he was born. He got blamed for all this stuff. Like he was one of the nicest kids out of all of the immortals, which is the race that he's from. And he was so nice and smart. And all this stuff happened to him in that society. And it turned him into this bloodthirsty uh, murderer. We'll see what happens in Avengers, I guess. So yeah. I'll talk about that one at some point as well. Maybe when I do this one, because it's got Thanos in it, I'll talk about that series as well. Another book that I got about halfway through last time I started reading it, it's kind of important that I read it again, I feel. It's a book called Crazy Love. It's not a book about relationships or anything, or not purely just relationships, but it's a Christian book. It just talks about um, how intense God's love is for us and how we really cannot comprehend anything at all that um, that he's done for us uh, and that we'll never really be able to comprehend it while we're living on the earth. Um, so it's going to be good. I've, I've read part of it before. Like, like I said, I've read about half of it. Um, it was really good, but I have to read it again. Pretty, I, just, I think I need to at this point in time. Thanks for watching. Hope that was all right. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Look, look how far I got. I was so close, and then I messed it up. I nearly finished it. Ah, so close. I'm going to give that another go at some point, but when I got this close and it wasn't working, I was just destroyed and could not be bothered anymore. So I'll give it another go. I spent like a few hours on this. I'll try it again. We'll see how we go. Also, you should all go and encourage Will from the Will Loves Karen channel because he's the nicest dude and he's getting all this crap on the internet for some reason and he shouldn't because he's one of my favourite people of all time. So go talk to him, encourage him. He's just a lovely dude, so go be lovely to him. Reciprocate who he is back to him, if that, that makes sense, I think. I feel like it does anyway. Just make him feel loved. Will, you're awesome. Don't listen to the stupid people on the internet because they're lame. Cool, sweet, everyone's agreed, they suck. We all love you because you're hectic. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll make another video soon, hopefully. Yeah, I hope someone's watching this.